For Health MEC Dr. Poppy Ramatuba and her counterpart from Mpumalanga MEC Sasekani Manzini are today embarking on a joint malaria awareness campaign in Maruleng in the Mopani region. Malaria is said to be on the rise in South Africa with new cases recorded in the last quarter. Lowfeld areas are prone to malaria and are most affected after the rainy season. Africa is planning to get rid of malaria for this year. Well, for more on this story, we cross to our reporter, Mike Maringa. Mike, thanks very much for joining us. So um, we're seeing instances of malaria rising. Tell us more. Uh, good afternoon, Numpu, and good afternoon to our 404 viewers. Let me indicate that you are indeed correct coming to us live from the Willows. It's at the border of Mpumalanga and Limpopo, hence the coordination between the two MECs, uh, Dr. Popirama Tuba and her counterpart from Mpumalanga, MEC Sasegani Manzin. Let me indicate that uh, where we are now at the Willows is part of the low felt uh, areas where residents are affected, especially after the rainy season, because there are a lot of mosquitoes. You'll also also understand that the two provinces are bordering Sade countries in Pumalanga we've got Mozambique and on the other side in at, at the Bay Bridge border post that's your your your, your pathway to uh, Zimbabwe and other Sade countries let me quickly bring now the MEC for health in Pumalanga Dr Saseka uh, MEC Sasenga Mazin MEC Mazin hamta misa no mi buisaka SABC let's quickly talk about the willows in particular why is this event held here today Thank you very much uh, to yourself and uh, viewers at home. We are here today in Limpopo, of course, as we are putting it correctly, that is a joint program uh, between Limpopo and Mpumalanga. So, because uh, if you look at uh, Mpumalanga, start just after your, your Tlaseri uh, in Akonok. So, we decided that let us not be far and where people are. So, the nearest place is here at Maruleng. And of course, when we're having a briefing with the Ikhoshi Gazi, we were very happy and excited because. In terms of, uh, she was saying that they have a lot of malaria in this area. So it means uh, Limpopo chose a, a place where it is relevant for us to come here, of course, and educate our people because uh, people cannot die when there is a, a, a queue in terms of that and prevention also. Hence, we chose Maruleng and we are here as the two provinces. And people also from Pomalanga are here so that when we talk about malaria, we talk about something that uh, all of them they can go back and, and educate other people. Talking about Pumalanga, please take us through and give us a picture as to how prevalent are the malaria cases and as the, as the department, how are you dealing with it? We can say that in the last financial year, we, we had cases around 4,000 and now we are sitting at around just above 2,000, meaning that uh, we are doing well. But of course, uh, uh, we don't want to see any people uh, infected with malaria, but also we don't want any death. Uh, uh, caused by malaria because we can prevent malaria, we can cure malaria, hence we are here to educate our people. But we are doing well because last year we had around 29 deaths, but now we are at 10, we are towards the end of the financial year. But of course we cannot celebrate uh, because one life is is too many for us. So we are one to a zero percent of death of malaria because we can prevent malaria. Hence we uh, always encourage our people to go to the nearest uh, uh, facility. If you are sick, before you become your, a doctor yourself, you must visit uh, the facility because also we are able to test, we are able to cure. Uh, so as we are saying, it's one of the southern countries. We are happy with the minister, uh, the manner in which we are working with your Mozambique and Swaziland. Hence, you see the reduction of death is because we are also at the border. There are officials of the department at the border. When you come out of Swaziland, come out of Maputo, we test you there. And if you, you are found to be having malaria, we treat you at the same time. So that also assists us uh, as a province to make sure that we reduce the number of death that we don't want. Of course, we want zero percent of death. Let's talk about fumigation. We understand that in most uh, rural areas, you still have people who resist to um, your officials who come down to fumigate. How is the situation in Pumalanga? Are you having any awareness campaign to teach these people about the dangers of malaria and them denying your officials a chance to spray? Like yes, at, at, at our province, we don't have most of these cases, but of course, we work with the municipalities, work with councillors so that they must first understand. You know, councillors have got meetings on a monthly basis, so we also work with traditional leaders. So they are assisting us uh, in conveying the positive message to say, let us prevent malaria, because you cannot, it's not like what they are spreading to say it will uh, cause other diseases. So they understand because of the education and the awareness of our officials on a daily basis. So we don't have such a problem, hence we are able to spread in terms of the target that we are putting for ourselves as a province. Hence, uh, in Pumalanga, we are targeting, as we are saying, rural province, your Bombela, your Bushpark Ridge, and your Komaz. So these are the 
three municipalities that we are targeting as a province and we are doing well. And lastly, MEC, before I let you go, let's talk about um, the zero percent that the, the continent is talking about. Is it doable? Is it something that uh, can be achieved in 2020 as it was the target years back? It is achievable, of course, but uh, it is not only the department who should work with the community because the department can have all systems go in terms of prevention, but if our people, they don't present themselves to the facilities, then hence we are saying now we are having 10 cases of death, which is not necessary. So hence we'll work with the uh, municipalities so that our communities assist us to reach that target. But we are positive that we can reach that uh, uh, so that we are able not to have to lose life when it's not necessary for them to. Pumalanga Health MEC Sasegani Manzini indicating that in Pumalanga they seem to be winning uh, um, on their fight against malaria in that when they look at the numbers they are low as compared to the previous years and also they are trying to manage uh, the influx or rather the, the, the movement of people between uh, Mozambique and those who are coming from Swaziland saying that those who are affected are treated there so that they can reduce the spread of malaria. For now it's back to you in the studio. Thanks very much Mike for that report. More news for you after a short break. Do stay with us.